what is crackalack and we are back here with mass effect um, so let's see if this trick worked no it did not I still cannot talk to Adams I still cannot talk to Donnelly or Daniels all right well that is uh that's not looking good this might be the first game where I have to sit here and uh, Alright, let's go to the shuttle bay. This might be the first game where I have to just say the hell with it. Casual. Let's use that. Okay, so I can buy this. This is just a lot of... Okay. Alright. Harpoon gun. I'm kinda... Hmm. Kinda... Kinda want that, but... But, no, we're gonna buy fish instead. <laughs> what are you gonna do to make the game easier? I'm gonna buy fish. Phoenix armor. shots okay we'll get that not really care worried about the models right here uh, Lancer I guess we'll purchase that. I don't want to buy all of them. So I don't even have to go to the Citadel? These just look weird though. Yeah, these just look weird. Classic Tux. Bond. James Bond. I'm okay. Oh, there! He Look at this! Look at this! Guess who that is? Um, hey, Commander, I, I saw this thing in the shuttle and was flying it to save the day. Figure a historical artifact of this magnitude should not be left to the Reapers. Just make sure to credit me when give it to a museum at the war. Yeah, this is the Mars rover. What do you do? Yeah, yeah, got it. Alright, so hold on. James got anything here? I like his little setup, though. But, uh, again, this is what the writers think that, like, uh, uh, men who ask, who probably act masculine are. Just muscle heads. They're the dumb muscle heads. Um, and considering this is Freddie Prince's voice, which I find grating, and if you ever saw Freddie Prince, he is the opposite of this. Uh, but... <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. 
We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Uh, you're... Dude, you're just gonna keep up... Never mind. No, whatever. It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Wow, that was not what I wanted to say. Not it was sure what actually there is to a talk about. bitchy. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. This is Sound what like they really CEO. think men in the military act like. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony So from this isn't attack. like... Whatever the hell it was. And the colony? With the renegade options and such, this is it. This is just a quick time event. Well, if I don't press it, what happens? Intel we could have used to destroy him. I chose but yeah, the intel. I... <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. Yeah, it's just quick time events. I hate quick time. Was, we didn't really need the I intel. I hate in the those end. games. I really do. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. Jesus, they re So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do every fucking every person that wrote rule. this game. <clears throat> everyone who wrote this maybe game thinks that if you're half as good as I think you are. 1980s lethal we weapon is how men act in real life. Wow. Thanks for the pep talk. All you need to know about the Maybe's writers not. of Mass Effect 3 right hey. there, guys. Thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. No, you can't. Oh, and forget. why am I look? Why am I in that that whore? Why did I look like a fucking Instagram model? Right. All you got to do is stick my ass out. What are you doing? All right, whatever. Uh, who's this guy? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Okay, all right. So you're well, my shuttle makes, pilot, but you're setting up your machines. That's how they get around that? Okay. I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked. Gotta love this as well, okay? Gotta love this as well. Uh, modern, uh, these game designers that came in around, uh, 
past the um, a certain date and everything. They, they also think uh, like, oh, we're inclusive, so they put two Hispanic guys here, and they basically and what they do is they insert the the, the Spanish words into the English thing because they really believe that that is how Hispanics speak. It's ignorance. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the one. I don't cry racism at everything, uh, but it's ignorance. Um, as somebody who's who lived in South uh, Southwest Texas, it's either English, you know. They, there's no sprinkling of Spanish words in when when uh, when I uh, when Hispanic people talk, or it's totally Spanish. Usually, Spanish is between you know they're between friends and family, uh, especially when you can speak Spanish, uh, but most of the time it's it's English. They, they, I never heard um, a Mexican uh, American, which an American who is of Mexican descent, uh, let's put it that way, because that's, um, because they also consider themselves American, but I've never heard uh, the Hispanic person down in, in Southwest Texas kind of just sit there and go, "Yes, I'd like a cerveza." No, it, it, it never heard that. But that's that's white echo chamber middle age, middle aged uh, people who only lived in their small bubble their entire life and did, do not have life experience, which is another reason why a lot of modern games absolutely suck because people that used to write games actually lived a life outside of social media and their phones and their college little tight circle so they experience things so therefore it gave them experience and wisdom in order to write more complex things nowadays writers don't have that everything they have is in their very very small echo chamber on the internet just to let you know anyways how long have you been with the alliance about 10 years i enlisted in first fleet serving on the ssv hawking Flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent okay. as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. All right. So nice mechanic. Fly fighters and fix them. Yeah. And I got a knack for atmospheric fighter. They were grooming me for CAG. Well, fighters. Skill set made me more valuable. So he's not. He's not like flight. Joker. They assigned me to the Normandy the retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. All right. Cool. So what does he drive that too? For Hammerhead. <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Okay. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Oh, good. Glad you're a good pilot. And although I don't think stealth technology would work on there. And you just see... Oh, I, for, I cannot remember his name. I can't, I can't remember the Varen's name. Uh, Raz? Raz? Uh, Uggs. Uggs? Maybe? I don't know. I'll call him good boy. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Okay. Just like the original Normandy. I like Welcome it. back to the Alliance, Commander. Okay. All right. So that was that was good attention to detail. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay. Well, there you go. See now, and that's it. See, that's how you do things like that, right? And nobody cares. Oh, I have a husband. Okay, so you're a gay man. Get it. Boom. That's it. You know, no forced. No, I asked about his family. He told me about his family. 
Boom. See, people don't understand nuance. They can't parse nuance, so they don't understand the difference between lectured and moral superiority in the writing rather than just be normal. Just just let it organically come up. I asked about his family. He had a husband. Poor guy died. And his parents died. I relate. And he is, I mean, he is a, he's, well, he's not really, Vega's the armorer. Well, actually, no, he's our armorer because he is the lieutenant. So he outranks Vega, I believe. He's our low atmospheric shuttle. And he's our procurement officer. This guy, my goodness. Dude, we got to get somebody else. We got we to lighten the load, man. Right. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yeah, don't do not do it. Yes, Commander. All right. Uh, cool, man. I like you, Cortez. But yeah, hopefully we get help and we kind of... All right, let's see if I go back to engineering. Because I'm really ticked. I need to talk to my engineer. I can't talk to my engineer. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me below if this is... If this just happens. Whoa, wait a minute. Alright, so all I... Okay. there, I believe. Um, oh, let's see my cabin first. Oh, so my cabin is... They put my cabin on top of the ship. <gasps> feed the fish. Yes, we're back here. And feed the fish. Private terminal. Alright, Spectra. Okay. Wow. All right. Hack it. Stretch thin. Dossiers to your operation when you're inbound. Okay. Uh, reinstatement. Diplomatic authority. I have diplomatic immunity. Um. Yeah, so I'm basic. I, I, I'm I'm a gopher. Um, threat condition. Earth. Yep. Muster at pre-appointed. I still don't understand that whole premise of we're under attack and it's going to take the it's going to take the Reapers months or years to kind of wipe out Earth. It looks like they did a, I don't know, it. It is just a series. Uh, I don't know if they have a vision of a uh, proportions. Maybe that's not the right word, but all right. My dog. Uh, your VI emailing. I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way in Terra Nova now. Would hate for you to go milk this. To drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical chair and 750 volt outlets. And Andrea Brown. My dog mech on board. Okay, so I got a dog now. Yeah, see, with the glyph and everything, you know what I think that is? I, I really think that's those women activists oh writers the women writers of of these games and there were a couple there were like half and half there's women writers and the women writers on this mass effect uh either didn't last long uh or they have right they have written some of the shittiest games after mass effect 3 just saying okay just saying uh you know you you, you could say that's um subjective okay but 
I think it's women writers that like to put in like dogs or I don't know. Or maybe it's the guys that are in writing here that come from single you know, mom households that have that and like their pets were the only thing that actually supported them. Let me see. So we're getting reinforcements. I'll get canceled for that one, huh? Um, unofficial. Okay. Special ops. Uh, should you... The dancers? Oh, Joker wants dancers. The official system aligns soldiers who had held at N7 commemorative hooded jacket for wear on off-duty hours. Casual clothing in your cabin. A commemorative hood... Really? That's what I get for five fucking years? Okay. Thank you, Glyph. I think I got that one. How is Glyph emailing me? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, service Eden Prime. Okay. Um, maybe it's the Prothean artifact we saw before. Let me join the Normandy. I, I like Emily Wong. I liked her little mission in the first Mass Effect game. I am glad I got that mod of Emily Wong's back. Your favorite reporter. Thank you. Okay. Talk to you later. Okay. Bring in a dangerous death machine. The damn thing murdered... Murdered Balto? Who's Balto? Also, you owe me a steak. I don't owe you a damn thing, Joker. Uh, I, th I really think uh, Sean Green probably wrote his own little lines. I think he improv some lines because he's... That those are the, that's the best writing in in um, the uh, last game and this game. I mean, the writing was great. In Mass Effect One, um, everything made sense. Everything had ties. Uh, let's see. R Max. Okay. Jiminy Christmas, man. This is way too much exposition to give a new to give you as soon as you hit as. Large case. Former crew. All right. Uh, Jiminy Christmas, man. Uh, assuming the role can comms officer. Okay. Uh, so trainer is my Uhura. Sony is basically Spock. <laughs> yes, I I am old that I I I base everything on Star Star Trek the good series. Let's see, uh, Lieutenant Ad I can't speak to L Lieutenant Adams. Uh, area. Petrovsky is still an afterlife on my couch. And against, you know what? I really don't care, Area. You, you are, a, you're just. Let me see. Okay. Oh, this is nice. All right, first fleet. Um, Ennis Lindholm. The Kilimanjaro, the Logan, Nitish Singh, Stephen Hackett. He's the fifth fleet. I would have thought that he is the first fleet rear admiral, since he holds a lot of power. But maybe he got, maybe he got downgraded for uh, this Lindholm. Tadius Ahern, second fleet, I guess, is destroyed. I'm going to guess. If anybody remembers reading that, let me know. Fourth Fleet is gone. Rear at wait. So these guys are all admirals. Uh 
Why is a... Uh, this guy... Okay. All right, I'm not going to get into it, but guys, it, anyone who know, has an inkling of military um, knowledge knows the Seventh Fleet has the rear... Okay. Rear Admiral doesn't mean last of the line, guys. Um, but that's what happens when you have people who have no idea about weapons and military when they try to write it. Drew Kapirshian, he knew. Oh, Commander Shepard, of course. Um, and these, whatever they're using as the code or something, would not be... The first thing you do is you lose the vowels. So I don't... It, it's not even... Whatever. Admiral David Anderson, location redacted. Um, Fifth Fleet. All right, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's, uh, that's Hackett. Flotilla... Boris Mikhailovich, uh, Alaman. I do like that they see. Here's where you get diversity. This is what I like. I want. I when it comes to like the the commands and everything, it should be all over the world here. Um, Isaac Newton operations, redacted, redacted. I don't know what this all means. Niven. I'm assuming. We are going to have, all right, so Fifth Fleet Command. All right, but it doesn't tell me. Um, data on the Crucible. What happened to the Prothean data disk we collected? Um, they could be useful working on the Crucible. I'll have to look, I suppose. Uh, database, Raylo there. Boy, getting things. Touching base when I can. Anderson. Well, apparently it apparently it's not so bad. Come by again if you want to talk shop. Cortez. Yeah, I will. Uh, Vega, of course, is just uh, yeah. People who never spoke to a man in their lives or a real man or something without tight jeans on, skinny pants, skinny jeans. Right? Isn't that one? Uh, loco uh, setting a few things up um, crucible okay Aquarium. yeah we already know that all right all right so I got that customize all right hmm I don't know which one would be yeah I don't like that uh, yeah I don't I don't like this one because that just makes no sense. Armor, armor, put the armor in the boobs here. See, that's flexible. So you would think that it would stretch around. Um, same with this. Um, yeah, that doesn't make sense because, you know, remember that thing in the Incredibles? But this doesn't make sense either, but that's really her thing. Huh. Oh, I really like those around her, on, on her head. I'm doing this just because you have those bands on her head. Uh, James. What in the Nighthawk is that? Okay. I guess we'll keep them there. Info. We'll accept that. Um, oh, sign Normandy. Okay. So uh, get somebody else's captain. I'm, I'm done. I don't know why they wouldn't promote me to captain instead of commander. Executive officer. Well, I really don't have anybody right now. Yeah, he's got to fly the thing. Cortez is doing way too many freaking jobs. Look at this: supply specialist, cargo flight deck officer. Wow. Uh, she's got a unrecoverable. Yeah, she killed that. 
She's just got to work on that. Vega. Yeah, I don't trust him. He's a grunt. Um, Marine officer. Marine detachment. Second to the ground commander. Yep, nobody there. Chief engineer, Lieutenant Adams. Yeah, that's great. I wish I could talk to him, but I can't. Don't have a medical officer. Um, flight officer. Yeah, there we go. Communication, trainer, gunnery. Propulsion, Daniels, power, Danley. There we go. Armory. Yeah, Cortez has way too many jobs, man. Um, test minimum. Okay, so I don't have embedded journalist. Really? Okay, don't have any there. Um, I don't, can I put... Ah, sh I can't put Wong in there. Okay. Guard do Are you kidding me? Really? Designed to help recovery from post-traumatic... Hmm. Mmm, I really hate people that don't know about combat. Shell shock. I I really hate it when they when they start talking about it's post traumatic stress. Mmm, mmm. Unless you see, never mind. Unless, never. Mind. Unless you've been in in hell. Don't don't marginalize it. Mmm. Alert condition, stand down. Um, okay. Okay. I don't know what that really does. Oh. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. All right, what do I got? Oh. What I got here? Chase down an assassin. <gasps> yes! Hannibal the hamster. Of course, he would actually be dead, but... Ah. Feed the... F okay. Feed the fish, take a piss. And I still have all my stuff here, right? Look at that. All my models are there. All my fish are still here. All right, wait a minute. So, um, what is what is the one? The hooded? Is that it? This is what I get for five years of service? That's the one I bought that looks horrible. Was that Cerberus? All right. Well, I guess I'll just save that. All right. I get a little more storage space up there. All right, set your alarm, man. I can't choose, I can just switch. Oh, what's this? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, guys, I can't... Dude, I can't jump. So how the fuck... How the fuck can I choose this? Oh, okay. Yep, I'm on top of the ship. And that's something. Okay. All right. Uh, I wonder if this is going real, lo real long. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh oh. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Oh boy. 
So, I, you know what? I guess, I, I guarantee, I guarantee some people were ticked off uh, from Kelly Chambers being a pump and dump in Mass Effect 2, and they said, well, we're going to make this one lesbian. Oh, wait, you know what? All right, no, I redact that. I redact that because the people that... Uh, this is for the, the Coomers who want to play a female shepherd and want to have the lesbian scenes. I got it. I got it. Commander, I got it. come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Oh, I could have got it. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Yeah, I would have got you something. Especially a toothbrush. Oh, it, you talk, it's no your trouble, communications. Commander. You're gonna talk sure to my face. I don't. We can put in a requisition. I don't want your coffee breath, man. My toothbrush is a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses tiny Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs six thousand credits. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. Yeah. <laughs> in any event, I right. appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Uh, no, I don't want to know what else you used that toothbrush for. I'd end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like um, the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I've never heard of a military academy having scholarships. But hey, these are a bunch of writers. I have no idea about military. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. All right, that was Seeing rude. The on Earth was terrifying, but I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC. Well, she's I? right. That's Being you here don't. In the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. It's stuff and like if this. If your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. All right, I won't go into details. But there was a time we were bogged down. Uh, we were getting flanked. Didn't think, you know. Anyways. And the the biggest thing that we had that we were happy about was uh, basically a the hot chocolate packet and the uh, coffee packet. So, and we would try to make what was called ranger pudding. Look that up. I wouldn't recommend making it at all, but those little things give you joy when there is none. But anyways, you worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. But, uh, yeah, so I don't mind her focusing on the toothbrush. It's sort of like, yeah, this thing makes me happy. So, and it's a very minimalist thing. But then again, I'm not sure she doesn't use it on other women. Uh, but, <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Who knows? Uh, Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer, even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Oh, good. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. What? Quite true, Commander. Why is that the follow-up? What? Why is that the follow I thought she was going to talk about Mindor for a little bit. And then we could talk about where she was from for a little. All right. Well, it's... hey, look, we did a callback. That's Carry it. On, That's all you get. Oh. So I thought she'd be she'd be the communication. So she'd be sort of she should be exposition. But anyways, more terminal. I can't get any of this stuff. I gotta go get it. Um, okay. Same thing as in my cabin. All right, last but least, we will go to Joker, uh, since I've been interrupted um, twice now. I'm not really sure how long this video will be, so I, I may 
cut some things out, I'm knowing. But let's just let's just hop off the ship, shall we? Let's open the door. Let me out of this thing. Uh, is that a gunnery? That looks like gunnery sergeant. The gunnery uh, person that would be in there. Oh no, this would be right. This is gunnery. Oh no, that's gunnery, isn't it? That that was a uh, Caden. All right, Edie. I assume everything is going well up here. Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. How's the ship running, Edie? I always work at optimal capacity. Well, the Normandy's good. Everything's upgraded and better than ever. Uh, if we're talking about the crew, you'd probably have to ask a people person. We can't beat the Reapers just with a skeleton crew. His trainer? I have the capacity to accommodate the slacking of any number of productively suspect humans, Shepard. What happened to the rest of the old crew? Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. Perhaps you should consider upgrading my hardware. Retrofits are always a pain in the ass. All right. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Why would you lock? Okay. Oh, Joker. Ah, Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the council. What the hell? But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. What the, what the hell? I must have chosen I must have chosen an outfit for him. Okay. Wow. All right. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? <laughs> that is so weird. Commander. All right, anyway, that's it. So, all right, I'm going to leave it off on there. Let me just get in here. Uh, it also, with the, with the designs here, look at this. This this is, they really, I don't know if this was in the last game or not, but they really think after all the, look at all this stuff here. First of all, Who's reading this? That can't go down to be read here, can it? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, but they, they're just like, ah, make it a laptop. <laughs> okay. Now, that'll do it for now. Can't Commander? No, oh, nothing. Anyways, that'll be it for now. Don't know how long this is, but uh, thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. Get off my internet.